U.S. T's. Built in the heart of America, they are going down America's rivers to America's ports and from there to faraway battlefronts. The traffic along our inland waterways today is heavy. The steady flow of landing craft must be guided downstream to their destination. Somewhere a precise log of their progress must be kept. Their movements must be followed from launching to commissioning. Their speed must be charted from the shipyards to the river basins. As hundreds of landing barges assembled offshore, a terrific naval barrage bombarded the enemy-held beach. LSTs landed at several points along the invasion coast. A steady flow of troops and equipment poured ashore under a rain of enemy fire. LSTs, our largest landing craft. Since the start of our offensive, they have participated in every major invasion. And they will participate in many to come. At our shipyards, work goes on 24 hours a day. LSTs have to be built fast. Our troops can't wait for them. cornfields not long ago, there are shipyards today. Where there were pastures, there are keels of landing craft. Men and women who had never seen a ship before now build LSTs. Prefabricated sections coming from different parts of the country are fitted together like giant jigsaw puzzles. When the great hull is finished, it is rolled out of the yard to make room for another. There is no pause in the constant flow of the landing ships to the river bank. the LST is ready for the voyage down the river to the port, from which she will sail for the battlefront. the ship along the river channel is a serious business, especially when there is a schedule to keep. 
and the Coast Guard pilot has to see that it gets to the port on time. go about their routine tasks. The new equipment gets its first practical test as the LST keeps in communication with the Coast Guard picket boats, which clear a path for the ship. Traffic becomes heavier and the river widens. quarters has been sounded. The crew must know their battle stations, for LSTs are fighting ships. of America's rivers, the passing LSTs were once mystery ships, but now they are a normal part of the daily river traffic. The maiden voyage of the LST is almost over, and the ship arrives at the seaport at the river's mouth. Here supplies will be brought aboard. Here, the LST will be outfitted for battle. And here, the combat crew will come aboard. LST is a part of the fleet. LSTs. Built in the heart of America, they have come down America's rivers to America's ports, and they are now on their way to the battlefront. Mm -hmm. 